Welcome to the Classic RC channel. In this video we're going to look at some of the key differences between the Atamia Grasshopper and the Hornet cars. You might be thinking, well, why do we need a video on that? Um, if you have a shell or body, like the one shown here, it shows exactly what model it is. Um, but if you're into classic car res renovation, or perhaps you're looking to get into the hobby um, with, a, with a cheap car, then um, you might well buy, be looking at or buying a car that doesn't have the shell, or maybe even the wrong shell. So uh, we're going to have a look at these two cars. On the left-hand side, we've got the, the Grasshopper, the Tamiya Grasshopper, and on the right-hand side, we've got the, the Tamiya Hornet. Uh, and let's have a look at some of the things uh, that are different about these cars, both of which um, I bought without the correct uh, shells on them. So the first most obvious difference um, on this level is are the, the tires at the back. You can see the grasshopper on the left with the, the striped uh, tires and the hornet on the right with these chunkier studded tires. Now we'll come back to the back of the cars again in a minute, but now looking at the front on the hornet, what you'll see is this stud here as the mount position for the, the flexible plastic shell or body that this car has. You can compare that with the, the grasshopper here. There is the hole for a stud, but this car obviously doesn't have one. Uh, and the grasshopper is mounted with these positions here using screws with a more rigid plastic body. So we'll turn these two cars around now and have a look at some of the differences at the back. We've talked about the the tires already. They both have the same hubs, which you can perhaps just make out on the inside here, and the same wheels as well. So the difference is at the back, we've got the smaller suspension, rear suspension, compared to the, the upgraded or beefier suspension on the Hornet, with these extensions to the mount, and again, studs for mounting of the body, no stud mounts, no extensions here on the grasshopper and the body again mounted using these positions here. Other differences are the motors, so the grasshopper with the 380, smaller 380 motor, a larger 540 motor on the Hornet, this actual car doesn't have the 540 motor, it seems to have been changed at some point. We've got a, a Kyosho motor, but um, quite similar, larger motor on that car. And then looking at the casing, you can perhaps just make out, let's turn this Hornet here into the light. This um, more mounting point for the, the rear suspension, and we don't have that on on the grasshopper here so there's just no additional mounting points for these more basic suspensions and then finally uh, you'll see here the, the mount position for the gearbox which allows the movement here compared to the hornet where it's f a fixed position as well and those are really some of the the key differences between those cars. 